Hello guys, and today I'm going to briefly talk about um, the um, lockdown for chickens, okay? Now, as you know, all over the world there's been various lockdowns, there have been various lockdowns, you know, because of Covid. Well, chickens aren't exempt either, but not because of Covid, okay? Over here in Britain we've had our own lockdown for chickens, okay? And the reason for this is apparently there's been a terrible outbreak of bird flu. So much so that the chickens have been told they're not allowed to go outside. So they've had to stay indoors um, for several weeks um, until um, the bird flu epidemic um, leaves. Okay, and the, and the chickens have been told they're not allowed to go outside. And if they do, they'll get a fixed penalty notice or something like that, or they may lose their job of being allowed to, um, you know produce eggs or something right anyway that's light hearted but seriously there has been a lockdown for chickens really but you might think well so what who cares what's that got to do with ordinary people well the lockdown for chickens has actually affected ordinary people too you see if you go into shops these days or supermarkets especially you can Go out and buy what appear to be free-range eggs. Here, you'll notice it states six free-range eggs. And I have not, by the way, altered the contents in any way. I've not replaced the eggs. I've not, you know, the eggs that are in here was the exact eggs from the shop, okay? And they here you'll notice it says RSPCA assured, which means the animals have been looked after well. And... Also, it's got here, um, it also says British line quality. Now, I'm going to take an egg out for you, okay? There's a reason for this, honestly. But nothing to do with the um, bird flu, okay? Um, on here, it may be very difficult to notice this, but... On here, on the stamp, they actually show you a picture of a lion. And I'll get another one. And so if eggs meet the lion um, quality standard, then on each egg is stamped a picture of a lion. It's not just these particular eggs from this particular supermarket. It's a nationwide standard, okay? Um, and this is all based upon something that happened a long time ago when basically um, one politician pretty much told the truth, okay? Um, a long time ago, there was an egg scandal over here. Um, one of our politicians who was in charge of health at the time said that... Um, most of the eggs were, were contaminated with salmonella. She resigned when it was proven that most of them weren't actually contaminated with salmonella. But to be brutally honest, they practically were. Because it was almost half. I believe it was almost half of them were. It was a huge scandal. And she resigned because she technically got the numbers wrong because it wasn't over 50%. But it was still a ridiculously high mark. And was seen as one of the few politicians to actually um, put the public first. And basically destroy her own career because she um, wanted to put the public first. Okay. Anyway, that was a long time ago. And then afterwards the egg industry cleaned up their act. And eggs are now safe. Anyway. So you might think, well, OK, you've got some free range eggs. What are you talking about? How does this affect? Well, they were actually not free range eggs at all. It actually says they're free range eggs, but they're lying. Yes, they're actually lying. And they've kept the original wrapping and packaging on all the eggs because a lot of people are used to buying free range eggs for animal welfare reasons. Now, free range eggs mean that the chickens are allowed to walk go outside and, you know, relax and have fun outside and they're allowed to see sunlight and things like that, except these chickens haven't, not while they were laying the eggs. And the reason you know this 
is because right at the very bottom it says barn eggs. And there's all they've had to put a sign in supermarkets telling people that free range eggs are actually really barn eggs. Now barn eggs are basically where the egg where the chickens are allowed to roam around inside. They're not ca they're not cooped up in what are called um battery cages right next to each other. They're allowed to roam around indoors, but they're not allowed outside. So that's what barn eggs are normally. Sometimes people there are some farms which have provide barn eggs where they just keep the chickens out in, in a barn and they don't let them outside or barely at all right and those are normally barn eggs and, but a lot of people buy free range eggs for ethical reasons and um, because they like to think that the chickens have been looked after and had some sunlight and allowed to roam around outside while laying the eggs also some people think it has an effect on flavor some people think that if you let the chickens outside to play it actually improves the flavor of the eggs in some way i don't know why but many people claim that so anyway here because they haven't been allowed outside it says barn eggs on the packaging even though up here it states free range eggs but they're actually technically lying because it, they're really barn eggs because as i said the chickens haven't been allowed to go outside due to a lockdown for chickens because of a bird flu epidemic. Okay, so there you go, guys. Fake free range eggs, right? And here are the fake free range eggs, okay? Over here, we buy brown eggs. It's very hard to get any white eggs. And said so every single egg, if it meets the line standard, as a stamp on it with also an expiry date and um, some sort of code um, I don't understand what the code means but there is one it's basically a batch number some sort of batch number anyway guys these eggs are actually perfect within date so I'm not going to eat out of date eggs these are perfect within date and these expire on the 15th of April. I'm going to be using a couple today for a meal I'm making. But I thought I would show you some fake free range eggs and talk about the um, lockdown for chickens. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah. And just to make it a, po a point, if I didn't say it earlier, just before I do, it's actually a government um, mandate that... Um, the chickens have to stay indoors. I believe it is a government mandate and definitely government guidelines that the chickens have to stay indoors because of um, this lockdown for chickens, okay? To, in order to stop the bird flu spreading, okay? So yes, a pandemic for chickens in Britain and the consequence of it for ordinary people. So people who are lo love chickens and want to make sure they're looked after well I have to accept that they haven't seen the light of day literally for weeks and normally people would some people would not buy eggs for that reason and this time uh, or eggs those type of eggs for that reason like some people wouldn't buy barn eggs normally or battery eggs this time people are going to have to buy um, barn eggs like this even if they wanted free range because of the lockdown for chickens so all those um you know animal rights people who are going to have to change their view on what's good for animals okay because originally they thought it was about roaming around outside now they realize it's not the case because of the um pandemic so even chickens even chickens can't avoid a pandemic okay thanks for watching guys bye